I'm honestly like beyond myself right now. This is the third time recording this video and you know of course I'm not gonna make this video about you know of course you know just my stupid ass fucking blue snowball that won't connect to my fucking Elgato and won't connect to my Logitech webcam software. If you guys wanna know how I do my videos I usually record my blue snowball through the webcam software and it usually just you know of course just it works always and then you know I come home today already had a fucking shitty ass day I, you know I had fucking stupid ass morning practice I forgot my lunch you know it's just, it's just a fan fucking tastic day come home you know I'm, I'm actually very happy to make you guys a video right now but I kinda hate it because this is like the fifth time I gotta fucking tell this story and it's a very funny story don't worry I will put a very 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 insane detail on this story and then how do they know that this is my fucking favorite map yeah! I'm sorry I was kind of heated in the beginning, it's just any YouTuber can, you know, relate. Like, honestly, if your stuff doesn't work, you get very, very mad. So you guys know how, you know, those, those certain awkward situations when it comes to girls, you know, school, love, high school, just being teenagers, it's just... You know, life is just off. Okay, fucking thank God the gold muffin king didn't go on. And, you know, it's just like, it can be anything. It really can. Like, you can be, you know, for example, you can be like, Yo, you want to go to this party, man? Like, I really want to go. Nah, dude, I'm actually really tired. I'm probably just going to stay home tonight. Oh, dude, but you said you were going to drive us. Nah, dude, sorry. I, just, I don't feel good. And, like, you know, I just want to stay home. All right, man, just just feel better, man. Just let me know if you guys need anything. And then you, and then you go to this party. You go to this party, and then... They're there with different people, and you know, they're actually the DD, and they, they said they couldn't drive, and you're just sitting there just like, fuck you, man. So, you know, little Parksy was a little downy in fifth grade, and you know, just do my own thing or whatever, and uh, you know, usually in elementary school, you learn like multiplication, you got these tables and whatnot, and we actually had this fat test that's like, you know, one through 12, you know, one times one, two times two, etc., etc. And of course, like, of course, you know, I'm sitting next to, like, the hottest girl, like, in the school. Like, you know, you know when, like, your friends are like, bro, dude, that's definitely, like, the hottest girl. You know, she's, it's the movie scene where she just pops out, and you just know that she's the hottest girl ever. And, you know, like, every guy drools over her and everything. So she's sitting at my table, and, you know, we're, we're trying to do this multiplication test. And I was, I'm not trying to be cocky, but I was a beast, dude. I was, like, so good at multiplication, and I don't know why, because I'm not that good at math. But, you know, I just, I just knew it. It was actually really, really easy. So, you know, we're doing our own thing and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, my stomach was actually on fire that morning because I had a huge ass fucking burrito. Oh, oh, what the, what the fuck was that? And of course, this burrito was my good friend before I ate it. And it just, it just, it hurt me. It fucking hurt me. So we're taking this multiplication test. And I, you know, I, I knew, I knew it was pretty easy, but also I want to get that shit done because I was, my, my stomach was fucking gone. And of course, there's like the note all in the class, and they think they know everything. And then, of course, like you get to that point, and you fucking beat them, and you're like, Yeah, I'm done first, bitch. Your boy Jay coming in first, and just, you know, fucking turning that test fucking first. I would seriously walk by his desk, because this kid was a fucking faggot, dude. He would honestly just like sit next to me and like look at me and just be a fucking asshole and like tell me what's wrong and shit. Like, Oh, whoa, dude, you got that wrong, or you got that wrong. So, of course, I finished my test first, and I like walk by his desk with my paper, and I'm just like, So I go sit down, and like that really hot girl's not even done yet. And I wanted to help her out, but I didn't want to get caught for cheating. And dude, my stomach hurts so bad. You guys know when like you got to rip ass somewhere, like in a fancy restaurant or somewhere, and uh, yeah, you know, you just want to like let it slip out and just, you know, everything's fine, silent but deadly. You know what I'm talking about? Don't lie to me. I know you guys all have blamed someone for you ripping ass. I knew at this point that I was probably going to cause World War III, and I already had to fucking evacuate. And, uh, you know, of course, I wanted to go silent but deadly because I knew that the fucking classroom was about to just get fucking destroyed. I fucking knew that I could clutch this. I knew I could clutch it. You know, I just, I did that little motion that everyone does. You know, you should lean to the side, you know, just, just a little bit just to let it out. You just, you know, you're going to be chilling. I couldn't tell you guys, like, honestly, like, it was so gnarly. This fart was just so deadly. I sat there, and there's like four people at our table, you know, it's like groups of four, and everybody just looks at our table, and I'm just sitting there, I, I usually just fucking smirk and just laugh my ass off, because, you know, those like fart apps, and just funny sounds to a guy just make you go in fucking tears, and I'm sitting there straight face, I didn't even say shit, because I was just scared so fucking bad, everybody looks at me, 
and I just look over and I just point to the hot girl. Yes, I blamed it on the hot girl. It came through, man. It fucking came through. No one fucking, you know, no one fucking blamed me. They believed me. They believed me that it was her. They started laughing their asses off. I started laughing my asses off because she fucking knew. She knew that it was me and I just fucking blamed it on her. I'm so glad she was such a good person and took blame for the fucking nuclear fucking bomb. Hey, look at the bright side. I need my multiplication table.